Hello guys, good evening. Good evening teacher, how are you today? I'm fine, and you? I am fine, thanks for asking. Okay, welcome back to another class, to another week. Um, so let me let me know how was your vacation, guys. How did you spend your vacation? Hello, Sulma. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? How was your vacation? Um, I'm going to river with my family. To a river. In in which department? De qué departamento? La libertad. Ah, uh, very nice. And did you work today? Did you work today? Uh, hello. Uh, can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me clearly? Uh, yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo la pasaron en vacaciones? Esta semana de vacaciones. Fine. Very good. Uh, Hi. What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Dónde fueron? ¿Con quién la pasaron? In my case, I was boring because um, I was at home. I don't leave my house. You stayed home. Like me, I, I spent uh, almost the whole week at my home. I just went out uh, on, on Saturday with my friends. Then the rest of the week, I spend uh, the time at home. But uh, it was interesting because I was watching TV, the Olympic Games. So I, I didn't get bored at all. I was watching sport the whole week. Also, in my case, um, I spend my vacation with my family. Uh, that's really nice. I spend. It is the best. Yeah, it's better to go out with this virus outside. is It's not a good idea to to be outside with a lot of people. It's better to to be at home, to stay home. Then you will have the opportunity to to go out when we have the chance when this situation gets better so it is better that you stay home and secure your family so it's very nice to see you guys uh, i'm really happy that you are here again so let's start with another class tonight we are going to continue studying the present continuum and we are going to review a little bit uh, about last last class. So let me share the presentation for tonight. And uh, we are going to start. Okay, let me know if you see the presentation, if you can see the presentation. Let me know. I can guys. see. I can see that. Okay, very good. So today we are going to continue with the present continue. Today is Monday, August night. 
the time is flying very fast. So we have just six more classes until the program ends. So antes de empezar la clase, solamente quiero saber uh, si ya la mayoría ya logró realizar el examen. O por lo menos ya empezaron la, la sección 5. Que sería eso. Eso es lo programado hasta esta fecha. De que estemos este día empezando la sección 5. Que ya todos los ejercicios de las otras secciones ya estén completos. Igual el examen. El, el primer examen, ¿verdad? Así que si alguno no, por alguna razón, no ha podido. Este, los invito a que esta semana se pongan al día. Yo sé que la mayoría ya, ya topó la plataforma. Pero para, para aquellos de que han tenido un poquito de dificultades por el tiempo. Eh, hagan un poquito de, de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entre semanas. Tal vez un ratito después de llegar del trabajo, una media hora para que, para que se pongan al día. So next week we are going to review the topics. Eh, y ustedes ya van a estar tranquilos porque ya finalizaron la plataforma. Así que para los que no han avanzado, para los que todavía tienen un poquito pendiente, eh, échenle un poquito de ganas esta semana. Please. So we are going to start with tonight's topic, which is the present continuous. And for that, we are going to recall what we studied in the previous lesson. Let me see. Uh, here are some uses for the, the present continuous. And we use the present continuous to talk about present actions for activities that are happening at the moment, at the moment of the speaking. Also, we use the present continuous to talk about a present situation that, that may not be happening at this moment, but in the present time, uh, it's happening in, in our life. Also, we use the present continuous to talk about future plans or intentions that we have so let me hear you if if you remember about these uh, uses uh, give me some examples using the present continuous to talk about present actions to situations that are happening at this moment at the moment of speaking can you give me one or two examples I am studying English in this moment. Okay, nice. You're studying English at this moment. And what else? What else are you doing? Besides... I am listening the class. Okay, very nice, Carolina. You are listening to the class, to the, to the instructions, right? Okay, with the second use for situations that may not be happening at this moment, at this moment that I am speaking, but are happening in your life nowadays, a día de hoy. Can you give me some examples? Okay, one volunteer. I am working now. Yes, that is a good I'm example. Going, I am going to watch TV after the class. Okay, this is for a future plan that you have. But the second one, we, uh, we want to hear about a situation that is not happening right now but you are doing in, in your life. For example, I'm working for uh, any company, for my company this, this year. I'm studying English at INSAFOR this year, this month. 
that is that may be something that is not happening at the moment of speaking but you are doing at a certain time also i can say uh my sister is taking a cooking class this month so she's learning how to cook not right now but this month in the third one for future plans or intentions can you give me some examples Sylvia, can you give me some uh, one example? For the future plans, uh, for future plans. I'm I'm having a dinner uh, for my sister birthday next Sunday. Next Sunday, okay. That is something that you are not doing right now, but you will do in the future. It's something that you have already planned. You have a uh, already scheduled that dinner here someone says yes. you are teaching english that is another example that is an action that is happening right now that we are doing that i'm doing right now so for future plans i also can say uh, i'm traveling to to mexico next year I'm traveling to Mexico next year. So why uh, why do we use the the present continuum for future plans? Because we are already because we already have the plan. Okay, tell me another example. Yes. I am going to the supermarket at night. At night after the class okay. okay you are going to the supermarket after the class because or you or tomorrow you you have the intention you have uh, uh already scheduled that activity so you are have... okay go ahead yeah i am taking a very important thing next week uh, repeat again, please. You are taking a very important exam. Exam. Next exam. Week. Uh, exam. Okay, you are taking an important exam next week. You have already um, programmed that that activity. So we don't use only the future will. We also can use the present continue to talk about the future for plans that you have already uh, made made so let's continue uh let me see uh, if you practice this this week we are going to uh to develop some examples but after, uh, before that uh here i have an important note as i told you last class there are some verbs that are almost never using in the present continuous form. Like this, like this verb, like agree, be, believe, belong, care, forget, hate, know, like, love, mean, mind, notice, own, remember, seem, suppose, understand, one, and which. All this verb cannot be used with ing form with the simple uh, present with, I mean, with the present continuum. Why not? Because, because of the rule, because they are a steady verb. Some verbos estáticos que no representan acción. They don't represent action. Uh, there are uh, things that we use, uh, can imagine, for example, believe. Believe is something that is in our head. It's not something that we can do. It's not uh, an activity. No es una actividad. 
believe is is like a feeling belong as well care we care about uh, the kids about animals but care is something that we can uh, we cannot uh, watch we cannot see okay for that we are going to develop some examples and in here i have an exercise I have a question. Tell me your question. Uh, when we use a going to, is present continuous or future? It's both. The two things. Uh, you can say I'm going to as a future and as well as a present continuous. But it's most it's more common. It's more common. I mean, uh, to use that it's for future. Thing. Yeah, it's the same. I'm going to. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to eat an ice cream. It's more common to use it for the future. Okay, thank you. Because when you say I'm going to, es algo que ya lo planeó, que va a ser en el futuro. Es algo que no lo está haciendo ahorita, pero que sí lo va a hacer en determinado momento. So, we, you, you can say that is uh, future, con, future and uh, present continuous as well. Okay, let's see. Uh, what we have to do is to put the verb in brackets into the present continuous where is possible. When is possible? Hay algunos verbos que no los podemos usar con el presente continuo, como estos que les mencioné aquí. So in the following exercise, you have to be careful. Which of them you can use it with the present continuous and which of them you cannot use it with the present continuous. You have to use the simple form, the simple present. So this is a conversation between a father and a daughter. Can you help me reading the conversation, the first line? The father says, uh, what? And then you what use the- What are you doing here? Teacher, style in the mass. Here, in there. What are you doing in, in there? Mm -hmm. Um. No, you can use you can use that expression like that in there. Or you can say, what are you doing there? You can use both in or just there. Oh. No thanks. sé si, si se han fijado algunas veces yo les digo in here. In here, we can also use the word in. Or you, or you can use only here. For example, in here, in this example, it doesn't matter if you say the preposition in. So the first um, line is, what are you doing in there? Let me write. What is that? What are you doing? Doing present continuous. And remember when you when we use uh, the verb do, we always add the verb be. This case is are because we are talking about. Uh, second person, what are you doing? Okay, the second one. What is the answer? I have a bus. I am. Having... I am. I am, having... Having... I am having a bus. In this case, have. We use have. Uh, with ing 
not to demonstrate uh, possession. No puedo decir yo, I am having a car. Uh, en ese caso solo digo, I have a car. Because it's not an action. In this case, have represent an action, having a bat. In this case, yes, you use ing. But for possessions, para posesiones, no decimos, estoy teniendo un carro. You don't say, I'm having a computer, I'm having a cell phone. You say, I have a cell phone, I have a computer. But to show that that activity is happening at that moment, you can say, I am having a bat. Because it's something that you are doing at the moment. No es una posesión. El verbo have tiene dos usos. Para posesión. And also to say that something is happening. That you are doing something. Okay, next. I don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yes. Let me see. I don't. I don't believe it. No puede decir, I am not believing it. Because es uno de los verbos con los que no podemos, no podemos usar el eh, the present continuous, e -I, I and G. I don't believe it. Next one. With the verb B. It's, it's what? It's 745. 7.45. Or it is 7.45. Let me move this, this bat. Then he said, two other people are, are, are waiting. waiting. Are waiting. Waiting. We use the verb be, are, and the ing for of wait, waiting. Okay, very nice. Two more people, two other people are waiting to use the bathroom. And you have are or having? having? Are having. And are you having. are, and are, you are, are having. having a bat. Having a bat, this is the bat. Pero no significa, tú estás teniendo un baño. Sometimes we don't need to translate that into the Spanish form. If you understand in English, uh, what is the meaning? We don't have to translate that in Spanish. Porque a veces al, al traducirlo al español no tiene sentido, no tiene mucho sentido lo que dice en inglés. Pero si ustedes le entienden lo que dice, cuál es el significado en inglés, para qué lo van a traducir al español. You're having a bat. And she said, okay. Sí. Okay, who has a question? Sí, eh, no se usa a veces también I'm taking a bath, como que he oído. Yes. Taking in you the time. Taking or having, but for this word, bath, because bath is different to take a shower. Having a bath oh, okay. is like when you stay that in the bath for a long time. It's not uh, oh. like taking a shower. Having a bath is like this little dog is doing. It's only there uh, spending the time relaxing. And it usually takes more time than take uh, a shower. Okay, thank you. Okay, very nice. And in this one, Okay, I be as quick as I can. I am. I am or I'm being. Remember that we can use the verb be here. I will be that way. I will I, be as quick as. I will be. Uh, sounds good. 
because if we say I am as quick as I can, uh, también se podría. I am as quick as I can. Uh, but in this case, we are going to use will. Despite we are not uh, starting the, the future with will right now. I will. I will be as, as quick as I can. Tan rápido como puedo. Okay, the next slide. The result of the conversation. The father said, but I want or but I want him. I want to shave. In this case, we use the simple present. Just want. Just want. Creo, creo que want no se usa como wanting. No. We can we cannot say I am wanting an ice cream. I am wanting a pizza. Uh, because it is not possible. We only say I want a pizza. I want to go out. I want to shave. And here there is another verb that we cannot use with ing. You know. We, we don't say you are knowing. No, you say you know. You know what? I hate. I hate. I hate being late. Only hate. I hate being late yes. for work. Okay, good. And the daughter say, okay, okay, I. In this case, look at this word now. That means that she is doing right now that action, dried. So you use I'm the verb. Drying. I am drying. I am drying myself now. I'm drying myself now with a towel. What is dry? Secar. Yeah, when you use the towel and dry the water that is on your body. I'm drying myself now. And the father says, I not care. I don't care. I don't. Very angry. I don't care. Is not polite. I don't care what you are doing or do. Are doing. What you are doing. I just want or um, I am just wanting. Want. I just want. Want, want you to. I just want I... you to hurry up. Very angry, that father. Okay, as you can see, it's very simple. Just follow the, the rules and that will be easy for you to complete this this exercise so who wants to read the conversation the whole conversation quickly so you can practice your speaking two volunteers me teacher father I, I do. Manuel and Silvia. I want to. Okay. Uh, do it like you are the father and the daughter, like you are living that moment. Very natural. Okay, let's okay. go. What are you doing in there? I'm having a bath. I don't believe it. It is 7.45. Two other people are waiting to use the bathroom and you, and you are having a bath. Okay, I will be as quick as I can. Very nice. Continue. Next. Is there? 
but I want to shave. You know, I hate being late for. Okay, okay. I'm drying myself now. I don't care what you're doing. I, I just want you to hurry up. I just want you to hurry up. And do you know what is shape? Shape. shape. Yeah. Shape your beard or your mustache. Okay, very nice performance, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. So in here in the next slide, we have another exercise about the use of the simple simple present or the the present continuous. Here are there are both. So you, you have to differentiate which one is the correct. You have to match this answer. For example, in the first one, what are you doing, Adriana? And she say, uh, what are you reading, Adriana? A book about classical period of Greek history. She's reading a classic, a classical uh, book. So for in the second one, we have uh, the another option. What uh, what do you read? In this case, would you use uh, the simple present? Keles, books about ancient history. Books about ancient history. So as you can see in the first one, you use this uh, the the simple. I mean, the present continuous. What are you reading? Uh, she is reading a book about classical period of Greek, Greek history. And in the second one, what do you read? It's a WH question. Books about ancient history. In this case, we don't use the, the present continuous. So let's complete uh, the next one. Number three. We have two options, A or B, for each uh, for each couple of questions. What do you do, Carlos? What is Carlos doing? I am or what? engineer. Engineer. Is or in this case, it's an it's an information a. question. Okay. Let me see. What do you do? It's an information question, WH question. And he is an engineer. Next one, what are you doing? This one, yes, is for what is he doing at this moment? Obviously, it's uh, letter B. He is finishing uh, this exercise. Number five. Where do you live, uh, Christos? Letter A. In Athens. Yes. He lives okay. in, uh, in Athens. And yes. next one. Can you read it? Where are you living? What? With friends in my house. Can, 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 can. No, this, look at this. Uh, I guess this one is incorrect because the question is where do you live, Christoph? Where do you live? Okay. Okay. And the number six, where are you living? Where are you living? Okay. Um, la, siempre sería la letra A. Después. ¿Dónde está viviendo? Okay, in this case, where are you living? He is living with uh, with friends in a house in, 
can system. Boats are for places. En la dos le está preguntando por algún lugar en específico. Where are you living? And where do you live? It's a little bit confusing. But this is the correct answer. Okay, number seven. I bet in Helen. In Helen. Uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? A. Right now. It's a. What we are going to do after class. They are talking about what they are going to do after class. Letter A. Let's put this here. And uh, number eight. Can you read it? What do you talk about? What do you talk about? Oh. Not at this moment, but what do you usually talk about? They talk about a lot of things, but usually boys. A lot of, of things, but usually boys. Okay, number nine. It's raining. Uh, it's raining, raining Fabio. Fabio. It's, a, it's a question. Better A or B? B. Letter B. No, at the moment. Not, not at, at the, the moment. moment. So it's not raining. No. It's not happening. And number 10, does it rain? rain? Letter A. Only in the wet sun, in the wet season, I mean. Only in the wet season, in la temporada húmeda. So number 11, what do you eat, Maria? A. Not at this moment. Vegetarian food. Vegetarian food. Vegetarian food. She is vegan. And number 12. What are you eating, Maria? Maria. What is um, Maria? Chocolate. Chocolate. No, chocolate. Um, chocolate. What is Maria eating at this moment? Some chocolate. Choc chocolate. Correct. Number thirteen. What languages? What language are you speaking, Marco and Dieter? Letter B. Letter B. I speak Italian and Dieter. German. I speak Italian and Dieter speak German. So we don't use ING because it's an information question. What language do you speak? What language do, what you, language speak? do you speak? English, of course. English, of course. English, of course. So in this case, in, the, in this boat, we don't have ING answer. They are just for information. Okay, very nice. So tell me guys, do you have any question or dog so far? Any question or observation about this, this exercise? No. So let's, no question. let's move on to the next to the next one. So in this case, uh, we have a picture. Can you see that clearly? Can you see the picture clear clearly? I mean, 
there is there is a boy yes there is a boy in in a room with uh, many objects so what we have to know to do is uh you have to say if the statement is true or false you have to analyze the picture for example uh he is watching tv is he watching tv yes or not true or false or false it's false, false. 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 What, what is he doing because he is working He's, he's working the computer. using the computer. He's using the working computer. in so the computer. Number he's one is false. It's false because he is not watching TV. And letter B, uh, he watches TV. Right. Mm -hmm. Does he watch TV? True. True or? Does he watch false. TV? Is not false. Awesome. Yes. Analyze. Uh, does he watch TV? Here is watch. a TV. True. It's, it's, it's true. Aunque true. ahorita no lo esté viendo, pero sí ve televisión porque ahí tiene la tele. So he watches TV. It's something that, it, that he is not doing right now, but he does in another uh, time. So that is true. He watches TV. Number two, he plays tennis. Does he play true. tennis? True. 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 That, is, that is true because uh, he has the racket there. And is he playing tennis right now? Yes. Uh, no. 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 He's Fox. not playing tennis right now. But we can say he is playing tennis next week. But in at this moment, he is not playing tennis. Number three, he is using a computer. True. And that true. is true. true. Because he, that is what he is doing right now. He is using the computer. Uh, does he use a computer? True. 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 He also used the computer in another That's time. It. And number four, he rides a, mo a motorbike. Motorbike, I mean. Motorcycle. Yes, because he have uh, the helmet. He has the helmet and the gloves. So we can assume, and it is, it is a picture in a motorcy motorcycle. So we can say motorbike. that he ride a motorcycle or a motor, motorbike. And the last one, is he reading a false. motorbike? False. It's false. false. Because he is not doing that right now. So very nice. So before we end this topic, uh, the present continue. Do you have any question about the use of the present continue? No. No, no question. question. Okay, no question. So we are going to introduce another topic for tonight. And that is about family members about relationship between family members. So we are going to uh, analyze the picture, then you will give a, a what is the, the, the relationship between these members of the family. So we can assume that Abraham and, and Mona they are a couple, they are married. So as you can see in the picture, Homer is their son. Homer is their son. So they are his parents, his parents, 
Homer's parents. And in this size, Clancy and Jackie, they have um, three sisters, three, I mean, three children in this case, Marge, uh, Patty, and Selma. They have three children, and this couple, Abraham and Mona, have two, two sons, Herb and Homer. So, analyze what is Bart's, uh, what is the relationship between Bart and Homer? He's a son. He's a son. So, we say Bart is Homer's son. He's his son. And what is the relationship uh, between Mona and Homer? Homer is Mona's son. Mona's son. Okay, very nice. And what is the re relationship between Abraham and Lisa? Abraham is uh, Lisa's grandfather. Okay, Abraham is Lisa's grandfather. Or we can say the opposite. Lisa is Abraham's niece. She is his niece. As well, Maggie. She is Abraham's niece or Mona's niece. And what is the relationship between Bart and Selma? What is the relationship? Selma is Bart's uh, Selma. aunt. Selma is Bart's aunt. Or Bart is Selma. A nephew. Bart is Selma's nephew. Because March and Patty and Patty and Selma are sister. Sister. They are sister. So she is his aunt. And what is the relationship between Lisa and Link? This little guy here. Lisa is cousin to link with link. Lisa is Lynn's cousin. Is Lynn's cousin. Okay, she's uh, Lynn's cousin. And one more, let me see. Uh, what is the relationship between March and Homer? They are a couple, but what is, what is March for Homer? Marge is Homer's, Homer's wife. wife. She's Homer's wife. Okay, very nice. And how do you say when you have uh, more than one brother, but you have, for example, I have four brothers and four sisters. What is my relationship, my relationship with them? They are not my brothers because brothers we know are men. Siblings. Siblings. We say siblings. Uh, when we have uh, more than one sister and more than one brother. To say them together, we don't say only brother. We say siblings. Sibling, because brothers is for men and sister we know is for women. So we say siblings to include both sister and brothers. Okay, do you have any question about relationship members, family members? No, this topic is on the platform. There is an exercise. Okay, this is the end of the presentation. We are going to move on to the platform.
to develop the exercise that is in here. So can someone tell me what is your question? I don't understand. When, cuando vamos a usar siblings? Cuando solo es una hermana y un hermano o cuando son bastantes hermanos? En este caso, decimos siblings, por ejemplo, si yo tengo una hermana y un hermano. Yo no digo brothers, because brothers is for men. Es solo para varón, para hombre. Y tampoco puedo decir they are my sisters because we know we have a brother, a man, and in a, in a woman. So, cuando tenemos varios hermanos y entre ellos hay hombres y mujeres, decimos siblings. Entonces yo digo, they are my and siblings. You can say, mm -hmm. suegro, suegro. Is father in love. Thank you. Okay, so is that clear the difference between between siblings and brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes. Si tiene dos hermanos varones hombres, en en ese caso sí dice I have two brothers, two brothers because both are men. Y si tiene dos hermanas o más de dos hermanas, you say I have three sisters or four sisters porque todas son del mismo género pero cuando se mezclan los dos géneros you say siblings in my case es similar a es similar a nieto ¿verdad? que sería children creo que es nieto um, yes oh. nieto is is grandchildren children grandchildren sí pero ahí en, ahí se, ahí van in, Incluido el nieto yeah. y nieta. Incluyen los dos, los dos géneros. Igual, al igual que children. Children is not only for men. Cuando decimos children, estamos incluyendo hombre y mujer. Hijos, children. We don't say sons. Because sons are only men. Si decimos sons, es eh, porque solo son hombres los dos. O... Si hay más de dos, ¿verdad? So, that sí, is the, the difference. In that case, I can say, I have four siblings. I have four siblings. Si tiene entre hermanos y hermanas, sí. Pero si solo son okay. hombres, solo dice, I have four brothers. Pero... Si está, I have two brothers and two sisters. I have four blessings. También puede decir así. I have two brothers and two sisters. And that is okay. Porque los está diferenciando al momento que lo, que lo dice. Por ejemplo, in my case, I have five sisters and four brothers. So in total, I have nine siblings. Tengo nueve hermanos. En total. Okay, if you don't have any other dab, we are going to... Okay, espero que hayas, haya quedado claro este tema. Mañana we are going to review uh, more vocabulary about family members. So right now we are going to to do this exercise. So in here says the instructor, look at Sam's family, Sam's family tree. This is Sam. And how are these people related to him? Como se relacionan con él? Add this word to the family tree. For example, here we have the vocabulary, cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. So you have to differentiate 
uh, the relationships between them. We are going to focus on some. In this case, uh, this little around means that Sam and Jumiko are, is a couple and Chris and Sarah is another couple. They as well are a couple, Andy and Martha are married. So Sarah and Manuel are Martha's and Andy uh, children. Ellos son los hijos. Si ustedes ven la, this little um, arouse, las flechitas estas. So we, you have to analyze what is the relationship between they and Sam. For example, Andy is uh, Sam's grandfather and Martha is, what is the relationship between Martha and Sam? Let me see what is Marta. Here is Marta. Grandmother. She is his grandmother. Grandmother. So we put grandmother. Okay. Uh, and what is the relationship between Chris and Sam? Mm. Sam and Chris. What is Chris? Here is Chris. This is Sam's father. Chris is Sam's father or dad. Chris is Sam's, let's say, father. Father. And the other one, Manuel and Sam. What is the relationship between Manuel and Sam. Manuel is Sam's uncle. 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 And Sam is married to Yumiko. So she is his. That wife. is this one. Wife. She, she is uh, his wife. Number five, Sam has a brother and he is married to Lisa. What is Sam's relationship uh, with uh, Lisa? Let me see, Sam and Lisa. Sister in love. Sister in Sister love. Sister in love. Es la cuñada. Let's see, sister. in love. And number six, Teresa is the daughter of Manuel and she is Sam's. Teresa and Sam, what is the relationship? Mm -hmm. the, Teresa and Sam, they are cousins. Yes or no? Mm. Yes. It's her cousin. Cousin. She's her cousin. She has cousin. Okay, very nice. And the last one. Jim and Lisa have two babies. Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's and Jimmy is his nephew. What is the relationship between, between Kelly mm. and, and Sam? Kelly mm. and Sam. She is? Niece. 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 His niece. La sobrina. Let's see. If we didn't make a mistake. Here is a mistake in the niece. In the spelling, yes. Niece.
Okay, that was the only mistake, the spelling. So as you can see, you have all of them correct. So, so far, uh, where, where is your progress in, in the platform? As I am finished. You already I'm finished. Finish. You as well. Who hasn't finished the platform? ¿Quién no ha terminado la plataforma? Me too. I finished. Almost everybody finished. So that is something that you already know. These topics. So we are just reviewing. Okay, guys, is nine nine o'clock. So we are going to stop here. Nine. We're going to stop here and we are going to continue tomorrow. We will continue talking about family member. Uh, we are going to review more vocabulary about family member. And as well, we are going to do some exercises about that. So if you don't have any questions, uh, we are going to finish here. So thank you for coming. Have a good night and enjoy good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.